What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Or if you're on the website, thank you for, for coming on the website. Thank you for looking me up. <clears throat> today, I'm going to go over what if I had to start over today. And if you don't know who I am, or if you do know who I am, Andrew, what are you talking about? Start over from where? Where did you go? Right? So first, you got to know where I went to know where I would start, right? So who am I? Played professional soccer for six years. Played at a very high level, all the way from high school, all the way into the professional level. Played in England for a little bit. Um, played in Germany. That was my last team. And then I also played here in the U.S. in the second and third division. Um, <clears throat> and now I've helped hundreds of kids, whether it be, you know, from the physical aspect to the the mental game, all the way to the tactical game, which is where I got my start here on social media. Um, just teaching different ways. Um just teaching different ways to be successful and achieve your goals today is very, very important though. And I, I suggest that you have your notebook and paper out your notebook and pen out rather, and, um, take notes throughout this, this training. Um, if you are on the website, then you're getting the 12 week year or the, the player journal, that will be a great way, uh, just to follow along with this video. So what is the goal of this of this entire video, right? Number one is to give you the truth. I don't want you guys to have to sift through all the information out there that's currently out there because a lot of it is BS. 95% of it is BS. I know a couple of guys who, who do social media and do Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff. And they're trying to get money. Um, that's, that's, that's literally it. Um, but the, there's a handful of guys that I know guys and girls that I know who are really doing it for the truth. And, if you've seen me on their podcast or you've seen me on their lives, those are the people that I'm endorsing. Um, but my main goal is to give you the truth. I also want to protect you and give you a, a resource you can trust. So I'm the resource that you can trust. I'm telling you that because I've actually done the things that I'm saying I, I can do. If you're watching this and you're in the Bayern Munich Academy or the Barcelona Academy, then maybe you're like, you know what, Andrew, you don't really know what it's what it's like. And you're 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 right. But if you're talking about, you know, championship level football in uh in in England English championship or American championship I know what I'm talking about I've been to that level I've been at a high high level in division one college soccer I've been at a high level in high school and in the youth academies in England so my goal is to protect you and give you a resource you can trust what am I selling to you today absolutely nothing I'm actually teaching you guys how to use my free resource um, which I'm going to go over here in a little bit so the question is, what if I had to start over? Before we even get into that, I want to ask you a question. Why do people set goals? Have you ever thought about that? Why, why do we set goals? What is the purpose of setting goals? First and foremost, you set a goal if you're not happy with your current situation. If I say I want to make a million dollars, that probably means that I'm not happy with the money I'm making currently. If I say I want to play for the first team, that probably means that I'm not happy with my current situation playing for this team. I just heard a video recently about how lobsters grow. And I posted on my Instagram. If you have not followed me on The Real Andrew Mullen, go follow me on The Real Andrew Mullen. But he talks about why how lobsters grow. And lobsters grow simply when they get uncomfortable. When they get uncomfortable, they understand that it's time to grow. They take their shell off. They go underneath a rock and they grow a new shell. And then they go on their merry way. About three, four months later, it happens again. And they go through the same process. It's the same here. If you're not happy with your current situation, if you're uncomfortable where you are right now and you know that you have more inside you, then you set a goal, okay? It's from someone who knows that they can be more and do more. If you know you can be more and you know you can do more, if you know you can do better, um, reach a different level, then you're going to set a goal, right? And then lastly, it's it's to give you direction for the future uh, and it shows you where you need to spend your time, okay? This is what we're focusing on today. So write this down. Why do I need a goal? Why do I need a goal? Which one of these reasons is why I need to set a goal? Because if you're watching this video, you are prob you probably want something new. You probably want something, right? Whether that's to make it to a certain level, whether that's to make it a certain amount of money, because this is not just football. This is life. Maybe it's to make a certain amount of money. Maybe it's to, you know... Uh, you know, I'm I'm married, and so sometimes it's like I want to be a better husband. I want to I want to set a goal to be a better husband, and I use this exact method that I'm going to be teaching you in this video. I use the exact method, and that is why I'm husband of the year. So, 
it's for people who know they can be more, give them direction. This is obviously what we're focusing on today, but ask yourself, why do I need a goal? Why do I need a big goal? 80% of people in the US do not set goals. So if you want to be ahead of 20% of people, if you want to be competitive in life and in football, set a goal. You're automatically in the top 20%, right? So if 80% of people, whether you want to be a doctor, a nurse, uh, um, you know, a construction worker, uh, a high level footballer, whatever you want to be in your life, this video is going to help you do that. And first and foremost, instead of competing with 100% of the, the talent pool, let's whittle it down to 20% by just setting a goal. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get you guys ahead. I'm going to get you guys in the top 20% in this video. Uh, stay until the end and I will give you a free gift. You don't have to stay to the end. Um, you can actually click the link below, whether this is on YouTube or on the website. The link is below. What It might be a button or it's a, or it's a link in the description. Just click that and you'll get a free download. Um, yeah, so you don't have to wait. But these are two books that I highly recommend, okay? The 12-week year and Atomic Habits by James Clear. The I'm going to be referencing the 12-week year uh, a lot. It's actually the basis for um, the resource uh, below. But we're going to be mainly focusing on the 12-week year. However, Atomic Habits is the number one book that I recommend to all young people. Not even young players, but to young people. This is this is how you need to structure your your mentality when you set a goal or you want to create new habits or you want to get rid of bad habits. Atomic Habits is the best book you can possibly read. And in the 12-week year is obviously what we're, be, we're going to be focusing on today, which is the basis of how to think about big goals, okay? So the question today is, what if I had to start over? Number one, I would set a massive goal. Number one, I would set a massive goal. When I was eight years old, I told my dad, I want to be a professional footballer and I want to play in Europe. I say here today, from that eight year, from that eight year old to now I'm 28 years old, we're, we're two decades later and I have accomplished that goal. That's a massive goal. Less than 1% of people play professional football at all. Less than 1% of that 1% play in Europe. You guys understand that how how unlikely that goal is. You guys understand how how crazy I sounded when I was eight years old and I said I want to be a pro. Now everyone says they want to be a pro, but you look at their schedules and you look at their goals if they have any, and they don't have they don't have a way. You, you look at their you look at their goal and they say they want to be a pro, but then you look at their daily schedule, you look at their their smaller goals, their their process goals, and if they even have any. But it doesn't look like they doesn't really look like they they're taking it seriously. It doesn't look like they're being professional. And I did that. So how to set a goal? Write four big goals for the next 365 days. Okay, the, you should be writing this in your notes. Write four big goals for the next 365 days. You don't have to do this now. This could be a journal thing. You can pause the video right now and do it. But write four big goals for the next five days. Four or five. Next, pick the one goal that is the biggest and will help you accomplish the other three. Okay, we'll go over um, specifics in a little bit, but pick the one goal that is the biggest of those goals and they will help you accomplish the other three. Okay, I said the example earlier, I said uh, a 10 year old says, I want to run a five minute mile. Sorry, sorry. I want to run a seven minute mile. I want to play for my first team for the under 10 first team i want to score 15 goals this season and i want to be able to do 100 push-ups in an hour there's a lot of nonsense but if i said i'm going to be i'm going to play for the first team that automatically means that the other things that i said i was going to do i have to get them done in order to make the first team so those become your process goals those become your sub your sub goals the main goal is making the first team and the sub goals are the things that are going to get you to the first team. Okay. I hope that makes sense. If not, always, always, always go to my Instagram and DM me. I always get back to the DMs. So go DM me at the real Andrew Mullen and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. So next, next step and how to set a goal, write the goal in present tense and create a statement using the following formula. 
I am grateful to be a or to have blank. I am grateful to be a first team player. Thank, thank goodness I put in the work to become a first team player. I am grateful to have such great, great teammates on the first team. Then what I want you to do is I want you to read that statement every single day and I want you to feel it. Okay, so going back to the statement, I am grateful to be a first team player. How would that feel? How would it feel to, to be a first team player? Okay, what would it feel to be, have, or do your goal right now? You have it today. You have you have the goal today. And yeah, it sounds like I'm doing a lot of you know law of attraction type stuff. And that's true. Um, that's a video for another day. Um, but you have to feel it, guys. When you're saying something, you have to feel it. Because every single person in the world is going to tell you, but you're not a first team player. You're on the second team, or you're on the third team, or you're on the fourth team. And then they wonder in two years time, they wonder why, how did Andrew make it to the first team? He was on the fourth team. Oh, it's because I've always been on the first team in my brain, in my mind. So right now, what would it feel to be, have, or do your goal right now? So write your statement down and say that to yourself every single day. Put it on your mirror if you have to in the bathroom and just say it to yourself every single day. And when anyone ever tells you you have to say five positive things to uh, brainwash yourself out of a negative thing. So someone says, huh, Andrew, you're not on the first team. I have to say to myself three or four times, five times, sorry. I am so grateful I'm on the first team. I'm so grateful I'm on the first team. I'm so grateful I'm on the first team. Over and over and over again so that I can brainwash myself to be on the first team. And then eventually what you're going to do is, I know you guys have seen the what would Jesus do or what would Messi do or what would Ronaldo do bracelets. What would a first team player do? What would Andrew on the first team do? What would Andrew on the first team have? Once I started doing this, guys, I'm telling you the game changed for me. <clears throat> I said, what would what would a pro do? What would Andrew, if if he was a pro, what would he do? So the question today is, what if I had to start over? Number three. I would, or sorry, number two, I would create or buy a plan, okay? A plan for what? My question to you is, did you create Google Maps? Did you create Google Maps or whatever sort of uh, service you use to, to do directions? Did you create Google Maps? Did you walk around every single street in the world and videotape it and then put it on a, and then put it on a, a system so that everyone could see it? Did you fly above every single road in in the world and create a map out of it? No. But guess what you do? You use it every single day or every single week. It's the same with the plan. Okay? It's the same with a plan. So where do you find a plan? Where do you buy a plan? From people who have actually done something in their career. And before you guys X out of this video or whatever, you're like, oh, he's about to sell me something. I promise you I'm not. Just listen. Just just. Submit to the video, okay? Submit to the video. This video is going to... I'm going to go through this video. I promise you right now that you're going to get something out of this video. You're going to get a lot out of this video. So before you are skeptical or whatever, just settle down, put your phone away, settle down into your seat with your notes and just listen. Where do you find or buy a plan from people who have actually done something in their career? Why do you use Google Maps? Because a lot of people use it, number one. Number two... You trust it because they took the time to actually go down every single street and use a drone to go down every single street. So only take advice, only buy plans from people who have actually done something in their career. How can I show you where to go if I have never been there? Who do I recommend? Rick, Rick Fit. It's at Rick Fit on Instagram. Go check him out. I went to, I went to high school with him great guy, intelligent uh, when it comes to football, when it comes to fitness and all that stuff. Very, very intelligent, has a ton of material. He's consistent about the material he puts out. He doesn't change his opinion every three, five seconds like some of these people that are clearly just there to get likes. He actually puts out good material. And also, uh, most of his material is free. Um, I highly recommend him. Yeah. The other one that I personally use is a paid uh, it's it, when I say paid, it's about eight dollars, 
eight ninety nine, whatever for their program. Um, po- you know, probably twenty dollars maximum for the, all their programs. But match fit conditioning is what I personally use and what my clients personally use. My one on one clients, people who pay me every single month to work with them one on one. Match fit conditioning is uh is a great, great, great resource. Something that I personally use in my preseasons, in my professional preseasons that have gotten me the fittest I've ever been. Highly, highly recommend them. And then also my free content, guys. Subscribe. If you're not already a, if you're not already a subscriber on the YouTube channel, I'm gonna start doing some free giveaways um coming up. When I say sorry, not free giveaways. I'm gonna start doing some giveaways on my YouTube. Because that's where I'm going to be posting most of my content from now on. Uh, the podcast, the blog, all that stuff. Go subscribe and uh, turn the notification bell on. My free content will help you um, just be a better player. Be able to play your position to the highest level. See the game like you've never seen it before. And be successful, period. Um, real quick, my pyramid um, to making the perfect footballer, if I was to start over, is I would work on my fitness, number one. Fitness and my physical attributes. If you're 10 years old watching this, you should be working on body weight exercises every single day. I don't care about rest. I don't care about rest because when you're 16, 17, 18 years old and you're not at the level you want to be at, you'll you'll think, wow, I should have done more. Leave nothing to chance early on. Push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, dips, body weight exercises. Buy the MatchFit conditioning program. I, I don't get any money from it. I don't get any money from it, but I highly recommend it because I use it and all my clients use it. So fitness and physical attributes, tactics, that's my content, how to play center defensive mid, how to play right back, how to play wing, uh, uh, right mid, left mid, how to play. I need to do a goalkeeper video. If you if you want me to do a goalkeeper video, comment below. I want a goalkeeper video, whatever, Um, if you're a goalkeeper. Tactics is number two, and then technique is number three. Those are the three things you should be working on every single day. And then find one mentor. Stop jumping around. I believe in, uh, I believe in, you know, fascia, fascia training, fascial training. And then the next day, I want, I want to do weights and I want to work out because I saw Neymar doing it. Oh, and then this time I want to do this exercise and this exercise from this person, this ball mastery exercise. You're doing so much. Every all of it works. If you if you use my criteria where you actually listen to someone who has actually done something, all you have to do is go all in on what they tell you to do and you will be successful. But the problem is you have 15 different accounts that you're following on Instagram, 17 different you know, people you've asked the same question to and you're getting a different answer all the time. All the answers are correct. I heard a quote today that what is useful is more important than what is true. You must trick yourself thinking to think that you are doing the right things at all times. Find one mentor and stick with them. So if I had to start over today, the third thing I would do is I would track my progress. Okay? That's what we're going to be working on today. The 12-week journal, the player journal. Okay? So where are we now? What have we done? Thank you so much. If you're at this point, amazing. We're going to, I'm going to really take you deep now. Where are we? If I were to start again tomorrow, I would set a goal with intention to be better and reach my full potential. Okay. Number two, I would get a plan or mentor who has already done what I want to do. And then lastly, I would track what I am doing every day and create habits that help me achieve my bigger goal. Okay. That is what this entire video is about is tracking what I am doing every single day and creating habits that help me achieve my bigger goal. Very, very simple. Okay? So, before we get into the the 12-week journal, uh, the the player journal, I I just want to remind you that weekly webinars and trainings are coming out every single week, obviously. Everything you need to achieve your goals as a footballer and a human being. That's my goal. And that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys every single week. So, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And make sure you get all my stuff. If you ever want to ask me questions, go to my Instagram at the real Andrew Moulin. Um, I changed my Instagram handle way too much. I need to stop doing that. It's at the real Andrew Moulin. Webinars and lives. I do IG lives every single week. So make sure you guys get on those. Ask me questions. I'm happy to give you answers. So let's talk about tracking your goals. Okay.
All right. So when I <clears throat> when I put in my uh when I put in my credential, whatever you want to call it, when I put in my name and my email address, I automatically download the 12 week year journal. So we're going to go through it together. If you are on the website, you're going through this as well. This is to help you get through the journal and uh, start living your best life. Okay. So the one big goal, this is how we find our one big goal guys. Hey coach, I don't, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should be doing this exercise or this exercise or following this person or this person. Everything is going to be so clear to you at the end of this video. I promise you. So stick with it and let's do this together. Have your 12-week journal ready to go when you watch this video and have it next to you. And we're going to go through this together. Okay. So the first big goal, in order to find the first big goal, write down five things that you want to accomplish in the next 365 days. Okay. And I'm going to go through this, but you can pause the video, do it and continue the video when you're ready. But Write down your five big goals. Which one and only one of these will have the biggest impact in your life? Which one of these goals is going to affect everything in your life? If you want to sign a professional contract at the end of this year, that will probably change your life. If you want to play for the first team, that'll probably change your life. If you want to, you know, get on the get on the honor roll, or if you want to get a um you want to get an offer from this from this school or whatever, that'll probably change your life. What do you want to, why do you want to achieve this? What is the point of you achieving this? Is it to make your dad proud, to make your mom proud? Is it, if I don't do this, then my girlfriend's going to leave me? Whatever it is, why do you want to achieve this specific goal? And then lastly, what would happen if you don't reach or even attempt to reach this goal? Okay, I want to score 20 goals this season. If I don't score 20 goals this season, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to be the leading goal scorer in the league. And last year, it was 18 goals. So this year, if I score 20, I should be good. Well, if I don't achieve that, then I'm probably going to be extremely sad. And I'm probably going to have to, you know, go get a job. Or I'm probably going to have to not play soccer for the for the next couple of years because this is my last year as a senior or whatever. What would happen if you don't reach or attempt to reach this goal? Now, if this goal is too big for 12 weeks, break this down into four 12-week segments and then prioritize them. Okay, if I say I want to score 20 goals this season, I'm probably not going to be able to do that in 12 weeks. If I say I want to score 30 or 40 goals, whatever your league level is, then it's probably going to take longer than 12 weeks. So what I need to do is I need to write it out in these four blocks. Okay, if I write them out in these four blocks, then that way I can see them and I'm like, okay, great. So you take the big goal, you know, just going over it again. We take the big goal, we list five goals, we take the biggest one. We write why we why we want to do it, what would happen if we didn't reach uh, didn't reach or attempt to reach it, and then if it's too big for four for twelve weeks, we put them we spread them out evenly amongst four. Very simple. Now my twelve week year my twelve week goals, guys. At the end, I'm going to tell you why this changed my life. This whole thing changed my life, and there's only one reason why. I'm going to tell you in about two minutes. Stick with me. We're going to get through this, and we're going to achieve our goals this year. Now, once you have your big goal in four segments, write down the segment you will focus on for the next 12 weeks. For the first 12 week segment, write down what you are going to accomplish and what you're going to achieve. In that 12 week segment, we're actually going to break it down into 14 weeks now. You see how we're taking micro goals or we're taking macro, you know, big goals and we're we're creating steps. We're creating steps in a in a program. This is how we create a program for ourselves. And we can know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, that we're going to achieve it if we stay on track. So this is what helped me the most, okay? So you're going to put week, you know, week one, week two, week three, week four, whatever, all the way to 12 weeks. And then you're going to put, what is the one non-negotiable skill or non-negotiable goal that I'm going to accomplish this week? Okay. This is not this is not subjective. We're going to look right here. We're going to look at week 1, whatever we put here. And this is what I have to accomplish this week. I have to. Now you're going to put key and important days in here. Say I have prom night on on Friday. Okay. Then I need to probably do most of my stuff, get most of my stuff done on Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. 
game on Saturday, game on Sunday, whatever. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm at, I'm back home by, you know, 1230, one o'clock, whatever. I'm, I have goals to accomplish. Like I, you guys are like, well, it's a problem, whatever. No, no, listen, I have goals to accomplish. Okay. We are, we are, it's perpetuated in our life. If you live in America, for sure that, oh, you should enjoy high school and all this stuff. When I was in high school, guys, that's when I made the most progress in my entire career. Because I, I didn't go to prom. I didn't hang out with people, you know, all the time. It's okay to hang out with people, but some of you guys do it for five, six hours a day and wonder why you're not where you want to be. What are your to-dos for this week? What are the things that you have to get done? I have a dentist appointment. I have to clean my room. I have to uh, go to the gym. I have to do my ball my ball work. I need to get 5,000 touches in uh, every day, whatever, blah, 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 to-dos. Now, Every single day, you're going to have an entry, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? You're going to have an entry. You're going to say, okay, today is August 22nd. Okay, cool. What are the three things that I have to accomplish? And this again, this is not something that's made up. I don't make up what I need to do today. Three things I need to accomplish. I look back here. I look at my main goal and I've broken it down into five days or seven days, whatever. I've broken it down. So now I put the three things I have to get done today in order to achieve my ultimate goal for the 12 weeks, okay, or for the week, okay? And it all, it, it comes from here down to here. And now today I need to do these three things, whether that be fitness, tactics, and technical, whatever it is got to get this done. And then you have your to-dos. Your to-dos are not are not made up either. They come from this list. This to-do list that you have right here. Okay? Very simple. Now I have my appointments. These are the things that I have scheduled that I have to do. I have church with my family. I have dentist appointment, I have doctor's appointment. You are taking control of your life here, guys and girls. I don't care if you're 10 years old. I don't care if you're 28 years old. I don't care if you're 70 years old. This is a way of taking control of your life. You're not waking up like it's an accident every day. You're waking up and you're experiencing, you're walking through life now, knowing that every single thing I do today, as long as I get everything done that I need to get on this sheet, this is the sheet that you live off of. Today's Monday, right? Say today's Monday. I write down my, I write down the, the date. This is done the night before, by the way. This is done on Sunday, Okay. I write down the three things I have to do in order to accomplish my weekly goal. I, I write down my to-do list and I write down my appointments. I'm li This is my life. This is my life. Because I should not be thinking about what I need to do on the day. Everything should already be taken care of. And now I just have to do them. Okay? Very, very simple. And you do that every single day. You do it the night before. This is what changed my life though, guys. The weekly review. Okay? Many days and many times have I gone through my life and I know you go through your life where the, the weekend comes and you go and enjoy the weekend and you completely forget about what happened that week. This is an opportunity for you to go back and reflect and make the next week better. What are, the, what are you most proud of accomplishing this week? Ask yourself, what am I the most proud of accomplishing this week? Look, and I can look back and I can look at all the things I've done this week. I have a, a list of things I've done this week. Now go, what are the what are the what are you most of what are you most proud of accomplishing? I finished I finished a book this week. Amazing. Great job. I got 10,000 touches on the ball this week. Oh, amazing. Great job. 10-year-old getting 10,000 touches. Insane. Great job. What was challenging for you? Well, when I went outside every day to, to do my fitness, it rained every single day. That's challenging for me because the next day I didn't want to go. Okay, perfect. Write that down and start thinking about that. Okay, how can I make it easier on myself when it rains? Okay, well, I can have a rain jacket or I could look at the weather and make sure that it's not raining at the time I want to go or, or I can just suck it up. But thinking about it frees you from the idea of it being challenging. What did you learn this week? Okay, well, my coach was telling me that, you know, I, I when I get the ball, I'm I'm too my body's too closed. So I need to open my body a little bit more. Or I read a book and I realized that, you know, um that, you know, different ways of training the brain. 
right? I figured out different ways of training the brain. What did you learn this week? Well, I learned X, Y, and Z. Too many people. What did you learn this week? I don't know. Young people. What did you learn this week? I don't know, mom. This is this is creating recall. And if you create recall, you have a better sense of life. You're not walking through life in a fog like a zombie. If you have recall, you're actually getting better every single day. And you know it, which is a whole different world than actually getting better. Like if I do bench press every single every single week and I'm getting and I'm improving and I'm improving, of course I'm going to get stronger. But if I look back on the week and I see all the days that I didn't want to wake up and I still woke up, that energizes me to do it even more. And this creates momentum. Recall creates momentum. Now, imagine a good friend had a week like this. Imagine your best friend said, hey, bro, look at what I did. Hey, hey, girl, look what I did this week. And you and you showed them this. They'd be like, holy crap. What would you tell them to spur them on or encourage them? Bro, you're you're not far. Like you keep doing this. Oh. You're going to be on a whole nother level. Girl, I cannot believe you did all that. That's crazy. I could never do that. And then it gives you an opportunity to motivate them and tell them to subscribe to the channel. And then I grow. <laughs> but anyway, but for real, what would you rate this week? Oh, today, this week I got every, and this is guys, none of this is subjective. This is not based on how you feel. This is not based on how you feel. This is based on did I get every single thing done here? Did I get every did I did I keep every important date? Did I accomplish my non-negotiable goal? If you do those things, that's a 10 out of 10 week. Let's move on next week. So this is what changed the game for me, and I hope it'll change the game for you guys. Click the link below, whether this is it's in the description or the button below. And if you got any value, also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um and I'll see you guys on the next video.